Hello friends, and welcome back to Enterprise Architecture. Now, today we have but one quest left to complete the Sky Revolutions pack, and it's a bit of a long quest. So, with no further ado, let's dive right in. Now, today we are outside of my brand new laboratory that I have built. This is a highly secure, secret environment that I have created for the production of some chemical materials here. Now, the last quest in Sky Revolutions is based on the popular television show, Breaking Bad. Now, if you have never watched this show, it's about uh, some sensitive material regarding... Um, let's say, uh, pharmaceutical chemicals. Uh, that's generally not the sort of topic that I like to cover on my channel, and also I want to stay out of YouTube jail. So today, what we are doing is a science experiment for research purposes only in our highly secure facility. So we're not going to ask any questions about what we are doing and what we are making, and we are referring to everything by their chemical names only. So that's what we're doing. So first things first, let's let ourselves into my brand new lab that I've set up that's highly secure and, um, how did you get in here? You are not supposed to be in here. Congratulations on your promotion to research assistant, Miss Cow. We are glad to have you here. So this is the laboratory environment that I have set up so far. It probably needs a little bit more work here, but we are starting to set up all of the things that we need for today's quest. So today's quest is right over here. Uh, this magical blue substance that we need to make that is extremely, extremely complicated here. So what we're gonna do is work our way backwards through all of these chemicals that we need to make this. It is a long, long chain of ingredients and we are going to uh, work our way through. We are gonna start over here on this side of things with some basic ingredients that we need. We need to make some hydrogen and some oxygen. So for this, we do need to go back to our main base temporarily because for whatever reason, I decided to not set up a refined storage panel in here. And we need to make ourselves this zinc catalyst. So we're gonna do that first. We're gonna make a couple of those. And it looks like this says it's not consumed on use. That's good. Another ingredient we're going to need is this alumin, aluminosilicate cast catalyst. So we actually can make that in our crafting grid. Now, I made up a bunch of aluminosilica bits by crushing some clay between episodes. So let's go ahead and make up that. So there's 18 of those. And we are going to use those to make up our catalyst here. Is that not how we do it? Uh, oh, it's only four. Okay, that's good. Also not consumed on use, but we are going to take two of those just in case. So we need to make those ingredients. The other things we are gonna need are nitrogen and ammonia. So I think we have some apples left. Yeah, we do. And we also have some potatoes. Okay, potatoes. So I believe the apples we use in the crushing wheel and that makes cyanide. So let's go make some of that to start. Whoops, run aground. Right here, we will drop our apples in. That's gonna make cyanide for us. Great. And then we are gonna come over here to our, uh, what is it, crafting grid, our craft mechanical crafters, excuse me. And we are gonna use these potatoes to make our nitrogen. And that goes really quick for us. We're just gonna do a few of these. Okay, so we have our cyanide from the apples, which technically I think is made from the apple seeds, and we have our nitrogen from the potatoes. So we are good to get started on the rest of these recipes. The only other thing we are gonna need while we are over here is of course to grab up a couple of buckets of water, which will be needed for the process. So let's go ahead and fill up our diamond bucket here. All right, so let's get started here. We need hydrogen and oxygen first off. So that's easily made in a heated blaze burner with our copper zinc catalyst and some water. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves up some coal here. Maybe I think coal coke will burn a little bit longer. We might need a lot of that actually. So I'm gonna grab up a lot of that. Let's grab up a bucket of water. It looks like that's a lot of buckets of water, but that'll be fine for us. We'll heat up our blaze burner and that should then give us access to our catalyst. Throw that in and very quickly, we are now producing oxygen and hydrogen. Wonderful. 
Now, I believe we should be able to pull that out into our fluid tanks, because I don't think this has any knowledge of uh, solids here, or excuse me, of gases, not solids. So let's grab that one. Let's put another tank over here, and we will pipe out the hydrogen on this side, just like that. There we go. And so again, this works pretty much the same way that it does in mechanism, only it's just a, just a little bit different, of course. Okay, so that is done. We can now remove the rest of the water from that tank and insert it back into our storage location here, just like that. Wonderful, and grab back up our catalyst. So now we have hydrogen, and on the other side here, we have oxygen. Wonderful. So let's put that down there. All right, a lot of ingredients started. So next we need to make our methanol. So methanol is made with hydrogen and our copper zinc catalyst with charcoal or coal coke. So we can pull off our remaining water here. All right, so let's put some hydrogen on here and this now has the copper zinc catalyst and the coal coke then we should just be able to tell this to pull out that fluid. And there we go, now we are making our methanol. So let's grab a tank here, put that down. There's our methanol. And I think I can just continue to throw our coal coke in here and that should use up all of that hydrogen. All right, so we got 61 millibuckets out of that. I think that'll be enough for what we're doing. Um, we can just drain off the remaining hydrogen into our tank there, just like so. I think that's everything. There we go, and bring that back over here. If we need to make more, we can always make more. Not worried about it for now. All right, great. So hydrogen done, methanol done. What do we use methanol for? Oh, we combine that with ammonia. Now ammonia we make by heating our nitrogen. So we do have a bunch of nitrogen on hand here. So let's go grab ourselves up back some more coal coke. Where did we put that? Coal coke. Okay. I'll grab two stacks this time just to be safe. And let's throw our nitrogen in here. There we go. And let's light this up. There we also go. Okay. So that is making our ammonia for us. Let's grab our tank here. That's water. Where's our other tank? Here we go. We'll grab this one and use this for our ammonia. There we go. Slowly but surely being made. Okay, there we go. And that is all of our ammonia. Okay, wonderful. We have that now. So we can knock these off our list. Then we use those to make, uh, I believe, our methylamine. So ammonia, methanol, and aluma silicate catalyst. All right, well, so ammonia, we'll put it here. Our methanol, we will put here. We're going to wrench those into our container. And then, of course, we need our uh, alumina uh, silica catalyst. What's a majig? While that's going, let's cover ourselves up some more basic tanks. Basic tank, because we are going to be needing a bunch more of these. We are not quite done here, not by a long shot. All right, it looks like that's coming along. So let's put down our tank here, and this will grab up the methylamine. There we go. And that should continue going here for a little while. So we'll just hang out and wait for that to finish. All right, and there we go. We can grab off our methylamine and put that here. And we can of course return the rest of our methanol to our tank, just like this. And that should drain out. I think that's everything good. And let's put that back over here. Okay, great. So methylamine is done. Now we have our oxygen and we need to use that to make our, uh, what is it, acetic and a hydride. So for that, we do need sugar. So we do have sugar in our system here. Let's grab up a stack of sugar and we combined that with our oxygen. And I think that's it, not heated or anything. So where is our oxygen? Grab that tank. We're gonna put this on here. Again, we are telling that to pull out of there and we are then going to dump this into our tank. So let's throw in a whole bunch of sugar and hopefully that will cook up nicely for us. All right, there we go. A bunch of acetic and hydride. We'll put that there and again, drain the rest of our oxygen back into this tank. 
just like that. I really feel like this should be happening in mechanism machines, not in create machines, because I would feel like the oxygen would just drain out of this basin. But, you know, who am I to judge? You know, what, what do I know about these things? Um, so there we go. We have done oxygen, methylamine, acetic, and hydride. Now we need phenolytic acid. So for that, we're going to need some more water, and then we will need some cyanide. Okay, so we have our cyanide that we made previously. Let's grab a couple of buckets of water out of here. Uh, there we go, water buckets. We're going to dump this in with our other water wherever we left that. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. And now let's bring our water over here for draining. And now with our water, we can then add our cyanide to that. All right, phenylacetic acid is being made now. Grab another tank to drain that off. Again, we're just gonna keep repeating this process here. That's gonna pull that out. And, well, that was the wrong one, wasn't it? Sometimes that happens with these create machines where it we haven't put a filter on the side so it doesn't know what to pull out and what to leave in. But as soon as we get some of that into a tank, it knows which is which. So we should be good there. All right, phenylacetic acid. We're gonna add that to our stores. And of course we will take the rest of our water and insert it here. There we go. A little bit of water left over for us. And now that's done. Okay, so now we need to make phenylacetone. So we need phenylacetic acid and acetic anhydride. So phenylacetic acid, we just made that. And we need the acetic anhydride. Okay, put that there. And let's pull both of these off, just like that. And this should start that mixing process. Grab ourselves another empty fluid tank. And hopefully, yeah, that is going to give us our phenyl acetone. All right, phenyl acetone is done. We'll put that down here and let's grab the last of our phenyl acetic acid back up. This tank is now empty, so we put it back with the rest. It is, uh, we're going to assume that is now sterile. No big deal either way. Okay, so that's done. Now, phenyl acetone and methylamine. So let's see here. Where did I put our methylamine right here and our phenyl acetone we just had put that back here and does this need to be heated i don't think it does let's just mix these two chemicals in here and there we go off to the races grab our tank and throw this down here and now we are getting the lovely, lovely blue stuff. All right, and that is now done. This is the ingredient that we have been after. So let's go ahead and clean up our setup here. Just for now, we want a nice and safe lab. There we go. And now we take it over here to our bottling plant. So let's stick this block down here. We're gonna tell this to export into our spout. And I made up a bunch of trays. Trays are easy. They're just a bunch of iron sheets in a row and that makes up a tray. So we should then be able to fill these and you can throw a whole stack down and it'll do the thing and make the blue crystalline substance that we want. So we're gonna wait a second and make as much of this as we can. So we take our tray over here to our thwomping machine, we throw it down, and that will quickly remove the contents from the tray. Wonderful. Okay, there is our lovely blue stuff. All right, so with that in hand, that is all of the quests, and that brings us to the completion of the task, and we get a cheaty storage disk as a result of that. Wonderful. So that is all of the items complete. All right, friends, well, that brings us to the end of this mod pack and to another end of a series of Enterprise Architecture. Thanks again for joining us on this ride. And as always, if you like what we're doing here, if you like this video, please do click that like button and also leave me a comment if you think I got something wrong or there's a better way of doing things, always looking for ways to improve. And of course, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Love to see you all back here for future adventures. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you back here next time. Bye, friends.